Hi guys, Barry from Cold Fresh's Glass here, and today what we're going to be doing is part three of the Plex setup tutorial video series, uh, and that is how we play our media across different devices such as the computer, the phone, and the TV. So let's take a look and let's get started. So one of the primary ways you're going to be watching your media is going to be on your mobile devices such as your computer and your mobile phone. To watch it on your computer is actually really, really simple and there's hardly any setup that you need to do. The main way you can watch your media on your laptop is of course by clicking on the icon in your top status bar if you've got a Mac and clicking on Media Manager. This is essentially just going to open up the web page that brings you to the Plex server app itself which we installed in a previous video. Now this of course is primarily used to edit our content to make the data correct, the metadata, um, and we of course can play it from here as well. So to simply play uh, a piece of content you can just simply hover over it and click the play button and you're ready to go. It will ask you if you want to resume or start from the beginning if you've watched it before and it's pretty much the easiest way to get to your content. There is however a Plex uh, sort of Chrome app as it were that you can install which just gives you a very handy icon on your dock down the bottom that you can click on and it will open up a Plex window. Now essentially what this is doing is this is just opening a, uh, a tab in Chrome essentially and just disguising it very nicely for us so it looks like a standalone app but essentially we're just going to the same place we were a minute ago in the Media Manager app but just in a slightly different way um, but the fact that it has an icon that makes it have that sort of app feel uh, no matter where it is taking us. So that's pretty much the easiest way to play it on your laptop. When it comes to the phone, however, um, we can do one of two things. We could either go to the Plex web interface where our media is being served from, however that is quite difficult. The easiest way to do so is actually just to install the Plex app on your mobile device. I have the Plex app installed on my Nexus 5 just here, so we're going to go ahead and open it up. Once we open it up, it's going to scan for our library. Now the reason why it scans for the library is because it has to know where it is. There's two ways in which you can actually find your library on your local network. If the library is being broadcast uh, to a local network, it will find it on the mobile device without any setup whatsoever. However, because we might want to play our content outside of the house, we actually need to sign into Plex to make sure that it knows where our uh, server is and where the content is. Now if you remember on previous videos we signed up for a Plex account which we signed into our server app with uh, on our computer when we did the setup. Now on the phone we're going to do a similar thing where we're actually going to sign in to the application with that same account and that's going to automatically link the phone to the server directly. And this is really great, the benefit of doing this is that if you're viewing your media externally from your house for example, so if I left my laptop at home which is uh, in the previous videos I stated this is my server so this does have to be in my home network relatively speaking to play my media so if this was at home I could take my mobile phone out and because I've signed in with my credentials it will just automatically link to my server back to my house with very little setup um, you don't have to mess with any router settings or anything it's really really easy once we've signed into the application with our Plex Pass uh, details then we can actually start to search through our content now it's really easy to do you have the on deck section first which is essentially everything that's in progress or partially viewed if we scroll across then we have the libraries now libraries are movies and TV shows that we set up on our server before so we can go into TV shows and we can see our list of TV shows here just as we would do on our server application on our computer of course to play one it's very simple we can go into the section here now you'll notice that it actually plays the theme music uh, this, the uh, show has. We can of course turn that off if we wanted to um, but I think it's actually quite a nice addition. So I can scroll through everything that I have on here. I can click on a season and then I of course can click on an episode and then I can click play. Now you'll automatically see it goes into landscape mode here and that's because the Plex app on the phone doesn't do portrait viewing so you have to turn the phone into landscape mode. Of course it's going to start playing the episode here as we would expect if we just tap on the screen here we'll get a few other options. We have the rewind and pause and fast forward 30 seconds and then we have a little settings tab next to it. Now the settings tab, if we click on it, we have a few different options. We have the subtitle menu, if we have subtitles on the episode. We have our audio options, so this is stereo or surround sound. And then we have the streaming rate. Now of course because we are doing this 
from a different device than is actually the server itself, we can choose the quality in which we stream the, the media. Now, of course, because I'm on the same Wi-Fi network that I am now, I can pretty much have it set to maximum. Um, but if I was perhaps going outside and I was streaming it over 3G, I might want to put that down. Now, of course, in this situation, if we were streaming it outside of our house, there are two considerations to make when choosing the quality of stream. The speed in which you're receiving data over either 3G or 4G, and primarily the speed in which your house uh, internet connection can dish out internet. For example, I'm with Virgin Media in the UK, and I'm getting 100 down, but my up is actually only about 6 or 5 sometimes. Um, so in that case, I'd have to choose one that's appropriate on the stream here. Now, I have tested if I choose four it does just about keep up but it's very comfortable with three megabits a second stream and that will give me a decent 720p quality on my mobile device so it's actually not that bad if i go click off here i can just go straight back to the episode of course i can pause it and i can play it and go back wherever i choose now the one interesting button that you may find that you can see on my screen is the Chromecast icon in the very top corner here. Now, of course, this is going to be used to Chromecast our content to the TV. It's pretty much exactly as you would expect. You can tap on the button, you can hit the Chromecast icon, and it will stream to our television. Once we've played our media, we can simply exit it and go back to the home screen. Now one thing that this app uh, doesn't allow you to do by default is save content on the mobile device offline. Uh, to do that you need to pay for a Plex Pass subscription, uh, which isn't too much money but uh, I don't find that I need that functionality because I have a lot of internet connection very frequently. Finally, I find most of the time playing my content from my mobile, pushing that Chromecast button and sending it to my TV just gives a really great seamless experience, and especially doing it on my local network, I can stream it at really high quality 1080p uh, and it looks absolutely great. So essentially guys, this is the end of the Plex setup tour. This is showing you how to play your Plex media onto your various devices. If you do have any questions about Plex, I'll try and ask them as best as I can, or any of my other products, such as my Synology and how I have that set up. This is Barry from Coffee vs. Glass, and I'll check you guys in the next video.